At that press conference held earlier today, Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes called the first homicide of the year in Madison a targeted attack. A Madison man is taking tracking his steps to a whole new level. Several teachers have reached out to me under the condition of anonymity, saying the quality of the food served to students has declined. And you can see right here, these are some of the 80 National Guard troops, part of the Wisconsin National Guard training for this mission. These guys are working on helping a patient into a wheelchair. All the fans behind me at this stage where the Deer District was expanded to for that game six. Some of these fans have been here since 2.30 this morning. Each chair, I think, is behind you. Folding chairs, blankets, jackets, coffee cups, all things you would see at any parade fill a room at the Waukesha Parks and Recreation Department building. It's, I, it's hard for me to even think about. A gathering of things left behind in the chaos that unfolded during the Christmas parade. 17 of us were there and none of us got hurt. Um, at least not physically. Christy Peters is one of the many that arrived to claim possessions left in the chaos of downtown Waukesha Sunday night. My husband and my daughter were sitting in a line with our, um, with my in-laws. They were sitting in a line and probably three feet away from the car. And this is, I believe, his coat. Yep. As Chrissy collects her chairs and jackets, the pain of the night returns. I, it's hard for me to even think about. I really feel, I feel like I can't unsee what I saw. I have a lady here. Um, for others like Ethel Marshall, gathering items lost in the turmoil of Sunday night is all she can do right now. Just keep praying that I find his watch because he'll be heartbroken if I can't. A Samsung Galaxy watch. Ethel tells us her grandson plays in the Waukesha South High School band and was struck by the SUV. It was a horrible scene. A scene she saw unfold on the parade's live stream. But he was like one of the second or third ones that were hit on the side of the, but the car went through. As her grandson sits in the Aurora Medical Center Summit, recovering from his second surgery, she searches for Tyler's smartwatch. And as she continues her search, she carries with her the scenes of Sunday's parade, trading shock and confusion with the horror of waiting. She came out of surgery yesterday afternoon, and the first thing he wanted was his silver cross necklace and his watch. And his mom said, I don't have your watch, sweetie. And Ethel's search for that smartwatch continues. In Waukesha, Colt Molesky, NBC 15 News. I think he needs to move on. I think it's time for a new chapter for the Green Bay Packers. It was time to go. Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers announced Wednesday his intentions to play for the New York Jets next season. So I went on the hunt for Packers fans eager to get quarterback takes off their chests, which means I needed to hit up a few watering holes. Well, I'm, I'm glad it's finally over. I am a little upset that he drug it out when he said he wasn't going to drag it out, but he still did. Fans like Don Killer Lane were frustrated over the amount of time everything took, tired of the off the field drama and ready for the next chapter. But no one was angry. I mean, frustration would be close because of how, you know, we went through the Favre thing and now this almost seems to be relatively similar. And I wish him the best, but hey, go Pack go. I'm not really upset or anything. I just sort of looked at it as it was necessary. You know, I think he has every right to do what he wants. It's his life. Uh, and I think we make too much of not giving him that opportunity easily. As for what's next, everyone, and I mean everyone I spoke with, is ready for a little love. We've drafted love for a reason, and uh, we're going to trust the organization, make sure we can move on. Bring the love. We need love in the world. Packers, let's do this. If he is any good, I don't know, but I hope he is. I'm rooting for him. Ready for love. Ready for love. This is dash camera footage from Cobison buses. It shows cars zipping past a stop school bus dropping off students. Here, a car races around a bus before making a sudden stop, almost causing a crash. A trend of carelessness, experts say, is growing across Wisconsin. They're simply not paying attention to our red lights. Perhaps they're on their phone, perhaps their mind is somewhere else, but these are our children we're talking about, and they're not paying attention. The regional manager for Cobus and Buses, Simon Gillum, was out dropping off kids on a route before this interview. He says two people illegally passed him that afternoon alone. These are the students of our community and so come on let's all 
get together and be more aware and be more vigilant about stopping for our buses. Executive Director of the Wisconsin School Bus Association, Sherry Heim, says the problem of illegal passing is only getting worse, increasing by 15 percent from 2019 to 2022. A drastic increase, and it's a great concern endangering our children's lives. And we're asking the motoring public to just be aware of this school bus. She adds the school bus transportation news found 10% of people illegally passing a school bus do not even care about stopping. 45% are distracted and 45% may not know they need to stop. We have adjusted a lot of our routes as much as we can so that we're not crossing kids on busy roads, but it's not always possible. Yeah, it's very frustrating.